We got one. We got a big one. Oh my gosh. 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 Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. We just set that. We just set that. We're going through the gate. We're going through the gate. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J, and today should shape up to be a pretty interesting episode on the channel. If you guys have been paying attention to the weather or to the news, you probably have heard that Arkansas is experiencing some historic and somewhat, well not even somewhat, just some catastrophic flooding along the Arkansas River Valley. There's been a lot of heavy rain in Oklahoma and it's caused a lot of flooding down Arkansas. It hasn't even rained here, which is kind of crazy. It hasn't rained here at all, except for today it's except raining a little bit. <laughs> We haven't had any rain, we have all this flooding, and it's affecting all of the Arkansas River Valley and a lot of lakes that are that are created by some different creeks that backflow from the Arkansas River into the lake. And that includes our lake that we live on, so we've been experiencing some pretty crazy flooding here. I've never seen a lake this high. If you can see behind us, we're going to show you guys the lake. A lot of you guys have been wondering how we're doing. We're doing okay. Our house is on high ground. We're not, ex we're not expecting our house to flood or anything, but there are some houses down the road that we've been working on today. We've been sandbagging. We'll show you some of that. It's just, that's it's why, just that's crazy. That's why we look a little messy today. We've yeah. been sandbagging in the rain. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're messy, but we're done now. And instead of, you know, just going inside and hanging out, taking a break, which we probably should do. We didn't sleep a lot last night. Me. Been, you know, it's, we're kind of tired. What we decided to do is we are going to try to take advantage of all this high water. You know, we're not in trouble. We're not scared of the high water. And we think that it presents us with a unique opportunity to catch some fish in some places that we've never caught fish before. So that, is what we're gonna do today. And the way we are gonna be catching fish today, we are actually going to be using yo-yos. Heck yeah. In our backyard. And our neighbor's in backyard. In our neighbor's backyard. <laughs> we're gonna be just going down the lake and we're gonna hang yo-yos, like in our neighbor's shrubs, their trees that they planted, just places that you would not normally get to fish. And we're hoping that maybe there's some fish in there. And we're especially hopeful because when we were hanging, whenever we were laying sandbags earlier, we discovered that there were a ton of worms coming out of the bottom of the ground, just coming up just because they were trying to escape the flood waters. And then they're just by the Bazillions. I've never seen so many large night crawlers in one place. We'll show you some of that action too. We've got lots of cool things we're going to show you, but right now we're going to get in the canoe and we're going to start trolling over this way. We're paddling over this way and I'm trying to hang some yo-yos up. So it should be cool. Stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. So right here is where our dock starts and the water is pretty much up past my thighs. And if I go out any further, it's probably going to be up to here, which is really sad because that means I can't fish off my dog. But today, I can fish out of my neighbor's backyard. <laughs> so hopefully, we're gonna catch some fish. Ready, Cole? Yep. All aboard. <laughs> Here we go, guys. This is our first yo-yo of the day. I would have never thought that I'd be hanging a yo-yo in this tree. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna catch anything. I'm, I would sure hope that we're gonna catch something in this tree. I think the number one prospect so I think if we do catch fish, it's probably going to be a yellow bullhead, but we might catch a, a pretty big channel cat too. You never know. Baiting it up with big old worms that the flood pushed up out of the ground. It's going to be a juicy bait. If I was a catfish, I'd be all over it. Drop that sucker down there and see what happens. There it is, guys. The first yo-yo is set. Let's move on and see what other cool places we can hang a yo-yo up in. All right, we're about to show you guys where we've been sandbagging all day. This is one of our neighbor's house, and as you can see, it is incredibly flooded. Her property is a little bit lower than ours, unfortunately, but I think it's going to be okay, especially since we got sandbagged. But, uh, we're going in. Yeah, we're currently going through the gate. <laughs> and we'll look at this creation. Look at all of those sandbags. We had a great team of people out here. We had like six hands, six people with 12 hands. Sandbagging, protecting the homestead here. I think we're good. I think we're gonna be good. But look at this, guys. We opened the gates up. Okay, got the gates open so all the fish can swim up in here. And look at all these awesome trees in here. Oh yeah, you know we're gonna bait these trees. Oh yeah, you know it. You know it. I was walking out there, it's deep. <laughs> it is pretty deep out here. 
And uh, we're gonna we're gonna hang a yo-yo on just about every branch we can possibly get one hung up on, so we can hopefully catch a cat, catch a catfish or something on it. Way, guys, we just caught a fish. We haven't even baited all the lines up yet. It's not a catfish, but we caught a fish in the yard. Oh my gosh! I don't even know how we hooked him with that big of a hook, but we got a fish. That is so dumb and so <laughs> awesome at the same time. Look at that fish! Oh my god! Look at it. We got a fish. We were just out here sandbagging. That's awesome. <laughs> no freaking way. That is so crazy. He came through the fence. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Our first fish for the extreme flood yo-yo fishing mission is this awesome little bluegill. It may not look like much to you guys because it's not a big catfish, but it's just under the circumstances that we caught this fish. We're inside of the yard. We just sandbagged this house. Here's a fence. We opened the fence up. Fish swam in here and we caught it. That's a good sign, Jay. Mm -hmm. If there's a bluegill in here, you know there's gonna be a catfish in here. And there's so many worms in here, all these fish will be coming in here to try to eat some. That was me. Did I just hear one go? That was me. That was oh. me. That was me. Oh. All right, this is not a catfish, but we're gonna let this guy go. And that's what I'm telling you. This thing could have came straight from the Arkansas River. We got one. We got a big one. Oh my gosh. 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 Got a big one. Oh my gosh, we got a big one. Oh Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, we just set that. We just set that. We're going through the gate. We're going through the gate. Get the paddle, get your paddle, get your paddle, get your paddle. What is that? Guys, we just got a, we got a big fish. And he's on a teeny tiny little crepe myrtle branch. Oh my gosh. It's a big one. What is it's it? a big one. It's a big catfish. Oh, oh my gosh. No freaking way. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. No way! No way! We literally just baited this like three minutes ago. Oh. Like while we were baiting this one, we noticed that the one over there had caught a fish. No joke. No freaking joke. This is this not rigged. This is so crazy. This is not rigged, guys. This is a yard that is flooded about four feet deep, and we just caught a channel cat. And it's a good one. That's like a two pound channel cat. Well, here's the first fish that we're going to be taking home, and hopefully there's a lot more than this. But. I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm just like super stoked right now. Like this, we wanted to catch one in the backyard so bad and we did it. We did it with a nice two pound whiskered channel cat. Good Winning. job, Jay. Oh my gosh, we have another one on the same tree. Are you serious? This is a good one. Oh my gosh, she's big. Oh my gosh, go. I can't, oh, I'm, I'm I, got, I got a paddle, I got a paddle. Oh my gosh. Our camera might die, don't die camera. Oh, please don't die. Oh my gosh. This is a good one. He's like got it. Oh my gosh. Sling him up. Yeah! <laughs> yes! This is a lucky tree. This is a hot tree. Look There's that. like a branch wrapped around it. Look at that. Dang, what happened? I don't know. He wrapped around the branch. There's probably a branch underneath the water and he just wrapped around it. But who cares? We got a catfish. That's what happened. <laughs> That's what happened. We maybe, we should, maybe we should bait like all of our yo-yos on this tree. Well, we got them all pretty close together. We have like 10 yo-yos on these one, two, three, four great myrtles. That is awesome. Good job, Jay. Let's get them unhooked. <laughs> all right, we're going to rebate this line, and I think this is going to be the last one. And then we're going to go inside, and we're going to wait. And hopefully when we come back out, we just have catfish and trees everywhere. Yeah, that's going to be <laughs> awesome. Got a fish. Oh, he came off. We missed him. Oh, we just missed a fish. Dang it, let's rebate that one. So I came up here in the yard. I want to show you guys, you know, the reason why we think these fish are moving up. So we showed you some of those worms we had. So all the water is out here, okay? All up in here in the yard, everywhere. And then look at this. 
Look at these worms. They are just everywhere, okay? The water is flo flooding them out of the ground, and they're just up here on the ground by the thousands, not the hundreds, guys. I'm talking about the thousands, and maybe even the millions. Probably not the millions, but all these giant night crawlers just everywhere. And we about filled a five gallon bucket full of these worms. It's insane. We're thinking about starting a big worm bed and uh, just having these as our foundation. But there are just so many. A lot of them are drowning, unfortunately, but there's a lot of them that are good. They're just getting flushed out and just going up to higher ground. Like, look at that. Just worms everywhere. It's crazy. And they're like, even climbing trees. Let me show you one climbing a tree. Like, look at this, guys. The worms are literally climbing these trees. They're everywhere. They're just everywhere. It's insane. I feel bad for the worms. But I'm like, but I'm thinking, look at that one. He's climbing right out of the water onto the tree. I think that they are the main attraction for all these catfish coming up here in the yard. And Jay, I told them I had a five gallon bucket full of worms. You know, show them the, show them the bucket. They wouldn't believe that. They wouldn't believe it, would they? You gotta see it for yourselves. Look at all the worms. There is no dirt in this bucket. And There's just nothing. Add, that's not gonna last long. We're about to go add a bunch of dirt to these guys. Yeah. They're all living. They're all doing pretty good. They're kind of wet, but uh, we're gonna try to see if we can get them to live. If they don't live, you know, it's all well. But we're using fish bait. So that's mm -hmm. good. We're catching fish right now. Heck yeah. <laughs> so let's go rebate that yo-yo that just went off. And then let's go check our other ones. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Guys, I don't know what it is about that one yo-yo. We got 50 yards away from it trying to go back to the house and bait up our other yo-yos because they're all popped off and it is just freaking out over there. I don't know how big that fish is, but he is making that little crepe myrtle branch just <laughs> shake. And our big camera died. So our big camera died. IPhone. Big camera died. So we're on the iPhone. Hey guys. Hey mom. Hope you're watching and enjoying this video. Because <laughs> I sure am. I'm having a great time. And it is another nice size channel cat. Yes. Same size as the other ones. I know you haven't been able to look at it yet. You'll be able to see it once I get over here to it. Got that fresh worm over there. <laughs> he couldn't resist it. He's so good, I think. Oh. Technically, it's the same tree. Technically, it is the same tree. It's just a different yo-yo. But look at that. Another nice, fine-sized channel catfish to eat today for dinner. <laughs> after a long, hard day's work. <sighs> I have some flood prevention. We got the sandbags. And we got catfish all on the same day. Who would have thought we would walk over, you know, 20 yards and catch catfish? Woo! Remember, we just kind of decided this on a random whim. But let's go ahead and sit this back down. Let's try to get back home for a second and get our camera charged up so we can use this bad boy. Because I feel like it's going to be a wild night. I got him. Yeah. So guys, that is our fourth channel catfish successfully landed. All of our yo-yos are just popping off. We, had, we just never checked those ones that we've been getting a bunch of bites on. And uh, we missed two fish on those. There's one right here by the dock that's underwater that keeps getting popped off and we keep missing. But... Hey, we got another nice channel cat right here. That's awesome. Oh, that's a good one. Nice. That's yes. a good one. That's a two and a half pounder all day. Awesome. And all these yo-yos that we just passed to get to this one, they're all shot up. We like heard them all go pew, 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 pew. We're like, oh, we got fish. We only got one fish though. We missed the other ones. We need smaller hooks, I think. Jay's going after another one. We got a good one over here. Woo! Got a good one. That's a nice one. It's another nice one. Can't you do it? Yes! Starting to get dark out here. I wonder if it's gonna oh. fire him up even more. Mm. That is a nice catfish, Jay. What is this, number six? That's number seven, I think. Number seven? That's number seven. What? And we actually caught another one off camera. It was tiny and we let yeah. him go. So it's actually number eight. I'm having so much fun. And we haven't even gone this anywhere. Is so much fun. That's so much fun. We're, we're literally in our backyard. I think we have the commotion up ahead on our crepe myrtle uh, grove up there. So we need to rebate this one and go check up there. Okay, okay, okay guys. We are heading to the same tree that you just last saw us at. We have got another catfish. That thing has been baited for about two minutes. We went over and checked our other lines and had to rebate them because a couple of them popped off. We've got a pretty nice looking channel cat on this line right here. All right, Jay, just don't flip the boat. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh there's a tree frog on this tree. Think we have another one? Another one? Yeah, there's a tree over there. The yo-yo is shaking and the tree is bounced, so it looks like there's a fish on there. 
We better go investigate that. We better go investigate that. We got a catfish on a new tree. Look at that up there. And that is another nice one. They're all about the same size. Anywhere ranging from a pound and a half to two and a half pounds. Jason go up there and grab him. He's kind of white. He's kind of white. Woo! Nice. What do you want to bet we have one going off in Crepe Myrtle Grove oh, over there? Oh, for sure. That's what I was saying. I wish you guys could just see us just going back and forth. Like, we'll be over here and we're like, oh no, there's a line going off over there. Our neighbors probably think we're crazy. Probably so. That's all right. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some catfish. We got a big one over here in our Crepe Myrtle Grove over here, but he's actually on a cypress tree. This one here is really close to the fence over here. Been really wanting to catch one on it. Is he still there? I think he's still there. I think so. I think he's still, I think he's still good. You get off. You get off. He's all the way over there. He could be all. He could be all the way over there. And he's off. No, he's here. Oh he's still gosh. there. He's, he's here. He's still there. Get yeah. pulling. You still there? Yeah. Biggin? Yeah! Oh my gosh! Yeah! Oh my god! He's huge! No way! Oh, it's getting dark. I need the light. Okay, there's the biggest one of the night. We thought he got away, but he was like wrapped around the tree and under a grass mat. And we are so excited to catch this one. Yeah, and this fish we definitely would not have caught had the water not risen. This is this is dry ground. It's about three foot yeah. deep over the dry ground bank. That is a four and a half pound or five pound channel cat. Look at his whisker. He's like missing a whisker. Dude, it's awesome. He's probably over here jacking all our worms all this time. We finally got him. I have no idea. But that's awesome. We finally got a really nice one to go with all the other ones. I think that's our, I think that's our tenth one. <laughs> that's our tenth catfish. And we've been we've been running we've probably been running for about an hour. But still, we've just been getting non-stop action, just yo-yo after yo-yo keeps going off. I think I hear one going off behind me, to be honest with you guys. And uh, so we're going to throw him in the bottom boat and uh, keep on investigating. Oh, oh ooh, good save. Good save, Jay. Oh, gosh. Way to go. Hey, good job. That's awesome. I told you, I told you it was big. I told you it was a big one. Okay, we've just returned to our best spot where we caught all the catfish for the final time tonight. There's a storm rolling in, and we've got three catfish at least hooked up. Three nice channel cats. And it's, we're gonna go retrieve them real quick. Woo! The old cypress tree. You see? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's a fatty. Look at that. Wow. Look at the chops on him. Okay, we're not gonna rebate him. Nice fish. Back like I'm gonna get the other ones. Gotcha! Dang, that's bigger than the last one. Got him. Woo. Here we go, one more behind us. He's a little guy. Go him back in the drink. Hey guys, so we're back at the house. Unfortunately, we had to postpone our yo-yo fishing mission for the rest of the night. There was this big thunderhead that emerged out of nowhere, just scattering lightning bolts and thunder and heavy rain everywhere. It was just kind of a mess. We got back home really quick, kind of got cleaned up a little bit, and uh, we're just gonna hit the hay for the rest of the night. We're exhausted, had a great time on the water this afternoon, and we're just gonna show you guys our catch in the morning. The storms ran us off the water last night, so unfortunately our yo-yo fishing adventure was cut short. But, let's take a look at what we did catch. Pop that cooler open, Jay. Voila! Look at that mess. That is a big old mess of channel cat right there. We ended up catching 14 catfish, but we had so many fish popping off our yo-yos. Yeah, it was our yo-yos awesome. were going off like crazy. It was so much fun. We just kept missing. I think we need a little bit smaller hook. Or we need well. a bigger catfish to meet our bait. Something, but whatever. That was a good haul. 
While Jay and I are both ready for this water to begin receding, we are hoping that while it's still up, we're gonna be able to hang some yo's up for the next couple of days, and maybe catch some more of these catfish lurking up here in the shallows and hopefully link up with the big one. That'd be really cool. The water's supposed to be rising up a little bit more, so maybe it'll give us a little bit more of a fishing opportunity. It's on some different trees that we never ever got to hang a yo-yo up on before. But we think that this is where we're gonna end today's video. And before we do, we wanna say a big thank you to all of y'all who have checked in on us, you know, regarding the high water situation. We're fine, everything's gonna be fine here. Our house is high up enough on the bank that I mean, it would take another 20 inches of rain, I think, to flood us out. So let's let's pray for not 20 inches of rain, and <laughs> I think we'll be okay. But we hope you guys enjoyed today's fishing mission. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button for us and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our future outdoor adventures. We're, We're calling Jay, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye, Bye guys. guys.